welcome to another session of Shere Khan Pre-Market View uh, with me, Shaji Nair. Uh, firstly, uh, the global indices, let's have a quick recap of the global indices, how they performed yesterday. Uh, actually, if you're seeing uh, the markets since last uh, two or, or uh, three or uh, state trading sessions, we are seeing that uh, global markets are reflecting uh, some kind of correct correction that's on account of uh, the FOMC meet which uh, was uh, slated to start yesterday and uh, uh, that's a two day meet and uh, again we have on June 23rd the Brexit referendum so these are the key events uh, due to which uh, uh, there are concerns uh, with, the F uh, with, the, with respect to the FOMC meet that the Fed would uh, uh, ra raise rates whereas uh, with the Brexit uh, it's a concern whether Britain would uh, uh, exit from the European Union so uh, that uh, the concerns that market is uh, uh, currently involved with you know, which is why we are seeing a bit of uh, global correction so yesterday we had Nikkei going down about 1% Hang Seng was down about 0.6% Nifty started on a weak note uh, uh, but uh, towards the close of the day could gather steam and uh, move upwards uh, uh, to finally close uh, kind of flattish uh, down about uh, close to point, uh, two odd points uh, uh, on the top gainers we had uh, shares like uh, 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 Xipla, uh, State Bank of India, whereas on the loser, losing side we had Ultratech, Z and BPCL. Uh, this was with respect to Nifty 50. Uh, with respect to the flows, uh, the F5 flows uh, were weak. With respect to the cash market, they are down about 113 crores. So with, with respect to the DIs uh, in the cash segments, uh, they were uh, 32 points in the negative, uh, 32, uh, 32 crores in the negative, uh, whereas with the FIs in the futures, uh, segment uh, that was about 1881 crores uh, of outflows so overall it was a, a negative uh, uh, flow that we saw with respect to the cash and the future segment uh, and uh, now with respect to the European indices the, we saw that uh, the CAC and the FTSE both were down more than 2% whereas uh, the DAX was down about 1.5%. Uh, uh, so we saw a bit of global weakness. Uh, and uh, today morning, what we're seeing is a Nikkei is uh, down, down about, uh, is flat about 0.5%. Uh, uh, and Hang Seng is absolutely flat. Uh, and uh, the SGX is down about 6 or uh, down about uh, close to uh, 1 or 2 odd points. Uh, so a uh, bit of a uh, weak opening to start off with. Uh, it could be a subdued opening. Uh, possibly markets uh, worldwide are, wait, uh, are adopting a wait and watch policy today uh, and uh, looking at how the FOMC meet pans out uh, at, uh, during the uh, overnight. So that is what the market participants would be looking at. Uh, so we could have a subdued uh, start for the Nifty as well. and could end up uh, pretty, uh, pretty flattish as well. So um, that's it uh, from, uh, for, for the initial uh, part of the session. And now over to the derivative update. Good morning friends, I'll give analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's market was a bit on a flattish note. It opened on a negative side uh, in line with the negative views from the international markets. And thereon it recovered uh, quite sharply uh, in the intraday basis, but eventually in the middle part of the day it did uh, went uh, into a deep, uh, uh, it did went into a deep negative uh, territory, but eventually recovered and managed to close on a flattish note at uh, closing at uh, with a loss of 0 0.12 percentage. Around 8,100 at 0080 market has been taking a good amount of support, and due to which we have seen Nifty uh, in the yesterday trade also, despite it down by 30 40 odd points, it recovered quite sharply and closed at 8120.55 absolute on a flattish note. On the, uh, on the open interest terms, uh, again an unwinding was seen and this time the unwinding was quite huge. Around 700 percentage was shattered in the open interest, uh, cost of carry also in decreased by from, from 5.5% percentage to 3.5% percentage, indicating majority of the unwinding which was seen in yesterday trade was due to the long unwinding, while uh, uh, the put call ratio also decreased by 2 basis point uh, from 1.11 1, 1 to 1.09 odd levels. Uh, however, we have been seeing in the last few trading sessions when Nifty has been coming down and uh, if you remember since the start of the series, we have been seeing good amount of put writing taking place and the last two trading sessions, um, since market has been drifting lower, most of the uh, most of the market participant has been forced to cover their put option, uh, short put options due to which we have been seeing a fall in the put call ratio. It's still quite healthy at 1.09 and the volatility index 
and ran by 400 percentage from 16.58 to 17.19 odd levels. So all in all, of course, the market has been on the negative side. We have seen some kind of an trend changing uh, in in the last few trading sessions. But the lower side of the market, where the market has been coming down, has been mainly to the long unwinding, and we haven't seen much of the short uh, short positions getting added by the. Uh, FIRs or by the market participants in the last few trading sessions, which is a positive sign. This is just a profit booking, and uh, at the lower level around 8050, 8000 uh, odd levels, uh, expect market to take support and can see a further bounce back for the series. On the options activity, not much of activity to highlight. On it was a single digit uh, build up of open interest, which was seen in the la in uh, in most of the strike price uh, from 8200 to 8300. Most of the strike price have seen a single-digit addition in the open interest, uh, and 8,300 call option continues to be the highest in terms of open interest with around 61 or less shares in it. While on the put side, uh, most of the strike price have seen an unwinding since we have seen an aggressive put writing taking place since the start of the series, and uh, after a fall in the market, uh, after a fall in the market which has been seen in the last few trading sessions, most of the participants have been covering the per short put positions. And due to which we have been seeing an unwinding in most of its strike price. However, 8,000 strike price remains as the highest in terms of open interest with around 67 lakh shares into it. There, there are three securities in bank period for today's trade. That is, uh, Arcom, Canara Bank, and India Cements. On the FIS front, in index futures, uh, there were net sellers by 1880 or crores. The amount is quite huge uh, and it's quite substantial uh, uh, by the FIS. But majority of the uh, majority of the selling part, which was seen in yesterday's trade, was due to the long unwinding as open interest of FIS it went down by sharply at around 11 or percentage. Indeed, majority of the selling part has been coming mainly due to the long unwinding and they have not created much of the short positions in the system. Index options uh, they were net buyers by 403 or crores. Stock futures net sellers by 174 or crores, and stock options net buyers by 13 crores only. On the market level of Friday's web stands at 8190, with the lower range at 8000 and higher range at 8190. As the XFT is trading positive, it's up by around 17 or points, and it's quoting anywhere around uh, 8135.50, indicating some kind of a positive opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. So friends, uh, now let's look at to the uh, look into the trading ideas for today. Uh, on a trading idea, we have Orbindo Pharma. It has uh, got a US FDA nod for uh, an oral tablet which is used to treat bacterial infections. Uh, this we believe is positive for Orbindo Pharma, and uh, so one can go long on Orbindo Pharma, uh, keeping a stop loss at 735 for an upside target of 772 and uh, 787. Now moving over to the news update section, uh, here the GST bill update. Uh, it is moving. Uh, it seems moving uh, closer to the passage of the GST bill in uh, the monsoon session, uh, with uh, consensus building across the states. So positive development yesterday on the GST front. Uh, the beneficiary stocks here would be PBR, Inox Leisure, Gateway Distribution, Century Plywoods, Maruti Suzuki, India, Britannia Industries, Phenolics Cables, Vicard, Asian Paints. Bojo Paints, Kansai, Nerolac, among others. So these are some of the beneficiary stocks which we feel that uh, could have a positive rub off from the GST uh, bill from the passage of the GST bill. FIPB refers Wholesip India's rupees three thousand four hundred crore proposal uh, to cabinet panel. And uh, we have Bharti Airtel Singtel team up for data business in three twenty five cities globally. Delhi court orders proceedings against Unitech in a in an alleged cheating case. Castec Tech says legal action by City Corp discontinued. This could be positive for Castec uh, when the news of uh, uh, City Corp uh, going for legal action against Castec was reported. Uh, the stock had suffered badly, so this um, brings a big relief to Castec. Probably the stock should uh, show some positive movement. PNB releases list of willful defaulters up to uh, March 16. The count is at 913. Godrej Agrovet and Godrej Properties to develop 100 acre land in Bangalore. Cabinet to take up new aviation policy today. Uh, may abolish 5 by 20 rule. Nippon Express in talks to buy 43% stake in TBS Logistics. Chris Capital. GIC may buy SBI's 5% stake in NSE. 
MSCI to retain China A shares inclusion as part of 2017 review, but it is delayed for now. Union Bank to raise 1000 crores via common bonds. It is mulling rupees 10,000 crore bioenergy vision from next fiscal. So, Praj Energy here could be in focus. HDL to issue warrants to from founders at rupees 100 uh, each. It's at a 3.79% premium. Tata Power to buy 25% in resurgent power for rupees 1800 crores. Uh, shares of Naga Arjuna fertilizer, uh, this would be relisted after a long time, after a gap of nearly 3 to 4 years. Uh, so the BAC code is 539917 and uh, the, the NSE symbol would be Naga Fertilite, Naga FERT. Pincon threats to list on NSE today. DHFL to raise up to uh, rupees 575 crore through debt issue. On AB Nuo, MMI strategic investment acquires 49% stake in health insurance arm. And uh, Delhi go go government has summoned Anil Ambani over BSES performance. So Reliance Infra can be in focus today. Satellite Textiles. ICICI Bank releases 1.98% out of 18.57% equity pledged by the promoter. So it could be a positive, uh, slightly positive development for satellite textiles. Uh, Mahanagar Gas Public issue to open on June 21st. NIT Tech and Syntex to be in FNO from 1st July 2016. Now based on our derivative data, uh, we have identified certain uh, stocks with positive bias and those are can Bank, Sipla, Apollo Tire. And those with negative bias for today, we, we have identified Castrol India, CET, and Hero Motor Corp. And uh, for investment, one can look at these stocks VEL, HDFC Bank, Maruti, Hindustan Unilever, and Glenmark. So that's it from the Shirkan pre market view for today. Uh, happy trading and happy investing.